Hi boys and girls, at the end of this week's lesson, you will be able to explain how to show respect for individuals who hold public office. Address former and present Prime Ministers by their title and simulate an official function or event where the public responds to the Prime Minister. Complete at least four of the eight activities at the learning centers. The Prime Minister, as head of the government of Jamaica, holds a public office. Therefore, he is accorded respect from all Jamaicans. The fact that he was elected by the citizens, he is given certain privileges that allow him to govern effectively. In order for Jamaicans to conform to the protocols for the Prime Minister, guidelines are documented for every citizen to observe. In addition to the normal way to address the Prime Minister using the Honourable, Figure 1 shows the title given to the Prime Minister based on his or her status in the Privy Council of the United Kingdom or if he or she was appointed the Order of the Nation. It also shows the nominal letters. These are the letters written after the surname. The last letters after the surname are MP because the Prime Minister may be a member of Parliament representing a constituency. Let's look at figure one. The protocol to address the present Prime Minister is the most honorable Andrew Holness ONPC MP. These are protocols for the Prime Minister, most honorable, right? member of the order of the nation o n and the right honorable member of the privy council p c now figure two figure two shows how to write or type three sections of a letter to the prime minister of jamaica so the address the salutation and the closing the address the most honorable andrew holness o n PC MP Office of the Prime Minister 1 Devon Road Kingston Salutation Dear Mr Holness Dear Prime Minister or Dear Mr Prime Minister The closing Yours faithfully for a formal letter and yours sincerely for a semi-formal letter Most schools and government agencies have a framed photograph of the Prime Minister Locate his photograph in your school and identify the post's nominal letters typed after the surname of the Prime Minister. Access the internet and find images and post nominal letters of the present and former Prime Ministers of Jamaica. Figure 3 shows four of the present and former Prime Ministers of Jamaica. Beside each number, write the post-nominal letters that are written after the surname of each Prime Minister. An example is given for Sir Alexander Bustamante. So Sir Alexander Bustamante, O-N-H, G-B-E, and P-C. Michael Norman Manley, what were his nominal letters? Portia Lucretia Sims Miller, what would have been the letters for her name? And again for Andrew Michael Holness. Extend. Figure 4 shows the names of four Prime Ministers of Jamaica. Beside number 1, 2, and 3, write the post nominal letters for each former Prime Minister. Then, beside 4, 5, and 6, write the title that will be used to address each Prime Minister. So, Hugh Lawson Shero, Edward Siaga, and Percival James Noel Pattison. Evaluate. Complete at least four of the eight activities at the learning centers. Word link from the Faye Ellington Center. Write the meaning for the post-nominal letters used for present and former Prime Ministers of Jamaica.
self-link from the Dr. Agri Irons Center, make a journal entry expressing your view on the respect given to the holder of the office of Prime Minister. Nature Link from the Dan McCauley Center. Recently, the water at Harbour View to the Palisados area was contaminated. This led to hundreds of dead fish floating in the water. Write a letter to the Prime Minister sharing your concern for the community of Harbour View and the Palisados area. Picture Link from the Edna Manley Center. Download images of former and present Prime Ministers of Jamaica with the post-nominal letters. Create a carousel of these images. Body link from the Rex Nettleford Center. Based on the protocols for the Prime Minister, role play a scene where the Prime Minister arrives and departs an official function that is not attended by the Governor General. In this episode, we are trying to explain how to show respect for individuals who hold public office, namely the Prime Minister. And we wanted to understand how to show respect for him when he enters and when he leaves an official function or event. If you are able to do this, as well as completing at least four of the eight activities at the learning centers, we would have had a successful lesson. Take care, do your revisions, make your notes, and I'll see you in the next episode.